This is a 1995 Pontiac Grand Prix SE. And this car is in excellent shape. And if you ask me, it is sexy. I love those headlights. It's got the, uh, aluminum alloy rims, which are factory. They just look amazing. Minimal rust, and there is a few spots here and there. But considering its age, it's aged very well. Black spoiler. Just adds to that sexy and sporty feel that this car has. Very clean interior. And this thing's only got just under 174,000 miles. And this thing definitely has quite a bit more life left in the vehicle. Stock stereo system still works. Uh, it is the tape deck versus the CD, but on the other hand, it's got the equalizer and then uh, I'd almost prefer the tape deck over the CD because then you can get the tape deck adapter and hook up to uh, whatever audio device you prefer. Power lock and power window. Custom shift knob which actually comes off of a different vehicle but the one that was on here with the way it was set up, when you try and press down to shift, uh, you were at risk for slicing your hand off. So, or you were at risk for slicing your hand open, not off. But to shift, you just push down and you can pull back. Um, I'll start it up so you can have an idea of what that's like. Where I put my key. I know I put it somewhere I would remember where I put it, but. in the ignition. That makes sense. So it starts right up and right away you can hear that engine noise. That's what's called piston slap which is absolutely common for GM vehicles of this generation. It'll clear up after a few minutes and it doesn't affect the performance of the motor at all. Uh, while I've got it running, I'll go ahead and show how to shift it. But basically, you uh, put the brake in, press down on it. Now it's in reverse, neutral, drive. So, absolutely no hindrance in the performance of the vehicle with that custom knob that we put on there. Electric trunk opener which is kind of nice don't have to use the key to open it it's very spacious for a car like this uh, especially considering it's a coupe so it's solid and tight I'm out here, let's take a look at the tread. Now the tread on this is actually in great condition. Um, it's certainly not brand new, but I'd say anywhere in the region of uh, 50 to 75%. Probably closer to that 75 number. And of course, we can't get away with looking at this vehicle without looking under the hood. Hood shocks work great. They still hold the hood up. 
It has the 3.1 or the 3100 V6 motor in here. It runs very smoothly. And again, I'm going to mention the piston slap. That's very common for vehicles from GM of this era, of the generation that this car comes from. It goes away after a few minutes worth of running. As you can already hear, it's already disappearing. It does not affect the operation or the running of the motor. And with the number of miles on it, it should uh, be good to go for uh, several thousand miles. It should last well into the 200,000 mile range and beyond. As long as it's well taken care of. And with the V6, it's going to be a bit peppy and with the coupe style body and uh, the sporty design of the car, uh, all the features complement each other very well. It should be very fun to drive.